What's up girls? I wanna hang out today and just play in some makeup. So I figured we can just find some new stuff and play in it, some stuff I haven't used before. So we got like some, I got my MAC paint pot I haven't used yet. I've never used this MAC stroll cream. I have some Studio Fix from MAC. I have used Studio Fix before, but this is an NC47, which I usually buy NC45 and NC50 and mix them together. So I'm so excited to have the NC47. This is the Tarlet Tees palette today. The little tiny thing right here. Little thing. That I got some time ago. And we're going to use my MAC palette that I've rarely ever played with. And a couple of other things. A couple of other things. So let's just go ahead and get into it. I've already done my brows. And I'm going to prime my lids with this uh, paint, not Painterly, because Painterly, I use Painterly by itself. I don't need a primer or anything but Painterly. But this paint pot, I've ran it across my fingers and it feels very greasy. As you can tell, it, it feels very greasy. And on top of that, it's not the one that I thought it was. So I don't like this paint pot, y'all. This is the one in Chrome Angel. Let's see if I can get it so y'all can see. It's in Chrome Angel and it freaking sucks. So I'm gonna prime with, I got Too Faced or okay. Let's do Too Faced, because I don't use much Too Faced things, or many Too Faced things. So, I have been indulging in reality TV lately, and it started out with me watching old episodes of um, The Flavor of Love, with Flavor Flav, and I've also been watching some um, I Love New York. So I watched all of those, and then after I watched those episodes, I was like, okay, maybe I should cut the TV on and start watching something on there. So I went on YouTube, I also was watching the show called The Next 15. Um, I know you probably know about it, I'm really not doing. And I mean, I saw like the girl Jennifer Williams or whatever, and they kept talking about how she was like quiet and basketball wise and stuff. So anyway, the other day, basketball wise was on on TV. Cause I do have cable, I just never watch it. Hold on y'all, let me go and get this Jeffree Star box. I'll be right back. So, I had to grab this box. Cause it has all these little new things I wanna try. Like this fake little beauty blender from Shop Miss A. I got some lashes to try. So I started watching uh, Basketball Wives, and I just want to say because I guess they're doing the marathon up until the point where the new episode comes on. And I just want to say I do not care for uh, Evelyn. I don't like her. Even my mother. My mother' name is Evelyn. I don't like her. I don't want to say I don't like her, but I don't like her character. Um, so here is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Chrome Angel. I thought it was going to be white, like a white stick, but it is not. It is silver. So hmm, I was going to return it or take it back or have my friend take it back. I said forget it. See that? It's, ugh, I don't like it. It's greasy. Oh, it's just a waste. I'm gonna use it anyway. But um, I don't like her character. I feel like she's very petty. I feel like she just starts stuff for no reason. I feel like she's too sensitive about herself. Like, don't don't do stuff and then be so so um, uptight about it. Like you like you get mad when somebody call call you what you are. I don't wanna say call you what you are, but when somebody call you out on what you do. And like you said, everybody sleep around, or everybody F, you know, like she kept saying. So if that's the case, then what you feeling so guilty for? Let people talk. If, if you know you're not a hoe, then don't worry about people calling you a hoe. You only, you, only, you only are what you let people call you. So if you let people call you that, then that's what you are. That's why I don't even get upset when somebody call me bitch or fad or whatever. Okay, I'm only what you, what, you, uh, what you think. But if I don't think that about myself, then who cares? So. I just feel like she, um, I don't know, I just feel like she, she doing the most. Trying to fight everybody and say something about her life anyways. I don't know, whatever. I'm old, I'm catching up with guys, but uh, my favorite person on here is like Jennifer. Even if she is bougie, she reminds me a lot of me. You're not trying to be funny, you're not trying to be bougie. It was one point where she was like being bougie when she was like, what's a food stamp? But to be honest, my grandmother doesn't know what a food stamp is either. Like she has no inkling of how to use food stamp card. She doesn't even know anything like 
about she's never had a boo stamp card so it's not it's people like that this it's, what i don't like is the whole misconception that you can't be black and not know what a food stamp is you know what i'm saying it's like okay there are some people who've never had that and just because jennifer was raised in jersey and she might not have came across food stamps i mean how can you mad at a person because they never had to use food stamps i mean it just sounds so stupid it's like oh we black so you need to know about food stamps so I don't like that. I don't like that they're treating her like that, that, that she has to, she's bougie because she doesn't know food stamp. But for her to say, I don't even know what a food stamp is, that was bougie. You know you heard of a food stamp. Whatever stupid. Everybody heard of a food stamp. They talk about food stamps on the news, on TV, but that doesn't mean that they get, you have to get them. So it's like she don't want to acknowledge that she could, she doesn't want to acknowledge anything that has to do with stereotypes and i understand her because i don't like to either i don't like to be put in a category of some stuff because i don't want people to think i'm a stereotypical black person and that's pretty much what she's doing it's not that she's trying to be funny she just doesn't want to be part of the stereotype and you can't blame her for that so what i'm about to do is take this mac uh this is dark and i usually use it all over my face but i'm so dry lately i can't even do it ever since i've had these three kids in these past two years i've been super dry let me pull y'all up so, I'm about to use some of this um, as a transition color. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so um, I'm gonna take this color in here called BFF. Best friends forever, girl. And I'm gonna take this little brush right here and I'm gonna do like a light, slight crease. Or not crease, girl, a little um, cut crease. One of these two colors, one is MAC palette that I have yet, oh, I did finish the palette, but one of my damn shadows broke. Okay, so I'm gonna take, uh, I don't know which way, these colors really ain't hitting right. I don't like MAC shadows, I don't know. I don't know. All these colors are ugly. Let's try um, this pink right here. It looks kind of like Harajuku out of um, the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. That palette sucks. Oh, I got now wet. Wait to put that in the um, shadows I hate. Or palettes I hate. Or a hate video. Or products I hate video. So. so simple y'all and I, I just put on some um, Kyra lashes from Shotness A uh, the Kyra in line my eyes with the Lash Factory liner that I was giving away that I already have a giveaway winner for which was B loves to cook and eat and so yeah all right now let's move on to the fun stuff let's go ahead and give this stupid little silly stuff I have been hearing I mean, I've been watching people review this little thing, so I wanted to go ahead and give it a shot today. So, um, let's go ahead and prime my face with something I don't use often, which is my Smashbox. Now, what was I gonna say? Um, when they when that girl hit Jennifer, um, I felt bad for Jennifer, but I like the fact that she classy. You don't have to fight all the time to prove your point. I mean, I wouldn't have let nobody slap me without getting getting back with her for sure and in fact she wouldn't even have came over and got that close to me um she was doing better by going ahead and getting her lawyers because forget about it hit it where, where it hurts money hit it where it hurts money uh, I, I feel like she um she's hitting them where it hurts the most you can smack somebody all day but at the end of the day that money that's what's gonna really hurt so let's take this mac nc 47 and I put it on the Silly Sponge, so I don't know how it's gonna work, because when NC50 oxidizes down, it's, it's just way too dark. So I went ahead with 47. I heard it got 48, so I think I'm gonna try 48. I like the way 47 look on me. I've already worn 47, but I've never worn it for you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Um, and it matches well. But I, would, I wanna try 48 and just see what that's about. But I just, 50 is just, it's just too dark. So let's take this Silly Sponge. Okay, hey, Persia. Mm-hmm. I need you going out. Maybe give me this. 
Go on. Out. Out. Cause the guys need me. Now who will try me? Now who will try me? I was not feeling that. It has totally ruined my face. My foundation looked ghostly. I've applied way too much. And it doesn't normally look like this. Trust me, I insert a picture of how it normally looks. So, matter of fact, all the foundation you've seen on my Instagram has been this for the past week. So, for it to... Okay. So, I got it to look decent. Got a bunch of product left. I had to do like three coats because it left so much streakiness. Okay, right. I'm about to put the rest. I did stuff in here. I look terrible because uh, that sponge is a no-go. No, no, no to the sponge. That's just a no. Heck no. Hey, remember that song? Hell to the no, to the no, 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 no. Okay. So we got that established at that. A waste of time. Whoever the giveaway winner is, we'll have one of those in their prize. So, I'm like a ghost. No, no. But anyway. Let me turn this off so y'all can see. Okay, this is me without the lights. Let's just take this uh, Ruby Kisses and we're gonna use this, this fake uh, Beauty Blender sponge, which is nothing like the Beauty Blender. I know a lot of people saying they like this sponge, but it is absolutely nothing like the Beauty Blender. I, as soon as I felt it, I was like, this thing is hard as a brick, but let's give it a chance and see how it, Works. Out of The NC47, this stuff is good, except for the fact that when I started sweating the other day, it melted completely off my face and off my neck. I had foundation rolling down my neck. I do got one more thing I wanna try with y'all. It's the NARS, let me see, can I put y'all back some? It's the NARS Eater Brush. Okay, let's see, it says NARS Eater Brush, and I got mine from Wish.com for four bucks, and I'm glad because I wasn't gonna pay $55 for it. Nothing no brush. If I pay $55 for a brush, you better have my name on it. You better be blinged out. I do want to try those Hakahoto brushes because I watch Tara Z Baby and she always is raving about those Hakahoto brushes. So I do want to try those. And they do got them on sale, a couple of them on sale right now. So for been on sale for like half a month, a half a month, a half a year. Actually, about four or five, maybe about four or five months has been on sale, and I still have yet to pick them up because I haven't really been buying makeup like that. Because I said I would just want to use what I have, but I've been missing buying makeup, so I am gonna get a couple things. That's not gonna be a palette, and no way, Jose. Um, I was so desperate to buy a palette, I was gonna get rid of somebody else a palette. That's how desperate I am to just spend money on a palette, and I'm just like delayed. It's like an obsession. I just need to have myself a palette. <clears throat> so I don't know. Expect another giveaway to be coming soon. Because I'm supposed to be doing another giveaway with my girl. And, um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to be giving away. But I'm sure it's going to be epic. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Uh, I know this video is going to be so long, y'all. Let me just finish this. I'm going to take this white color out of the Wild Rose palette. I like the way, uh, like, a white highlight looks on me. For some reason, the, the bronze is pretty too, like gold. Um, but the white just looks a lot better on me for some reason. The white highlights. Yeah, looks better on my nose. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish it. So I'm gonna take some of this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. It's with aloe vera and green tea, cucumbers, vitamin A, C, and E. Oh. Makes my face look so good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lipstick. I don't know what I'm gonna use because my stuff's still packed down. So I'm just gonna grab, let's just put on candy yummy. I'm just gonna that's what I got right here. 
and you see me not many the purchase got into it. Uh, I could line it. I could. I'm just gonna take this like burgundy red. Just line it. You know me, I wear lipstick without lining it because I don't care. It don't bother me to have bright lips. Like, that is so wrong that that girl slept with that man's husband and was all up in her face pretending like she was real and didn't even tell her that. And they had nerve to call her a non-factor. I know I'm late y'all, but for real. I like to be late, because then I get to form my own opinions. Okay, Ooh. I like everything I got going on except my face look really pasty. It looks like like it don't match my skin, but it does for all it does. It's just this part, this area right there. It's just so dark. So let's turn off the light so y'all can see for real. This is what it looks like. Hi girls, yes, we're all done. Just gonna go ahead, go outside, get some exercise. Oh, look at that, wait a minute. Hold up. Y'all wasn't gonna tell me through the screen? You weren't gonna tell me through the screen that I was totally unblended. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm looking good. You're not even blended, girl. You're not blended, girl. But the highlight is on flip that. And yes, I forgot to use, girl, I always forget to use that dang on Max throw cream. Anyways, okay guys, so thanks so much for coming and tuning in and just hanging out with me at this video. I've changed my name to Leia's Beauty Vlogs because pretty much my channel is just gonna be based on like beauty vlogs. I just wanna do everything related to beauty. It's not even gonna be like um, me just sitting here all the time doing makeup. It could be all types of stuff related to beauty, so just be looking out for that type of thing. Let me know if you like Makeup Mondays. Let me know if it's something you can get with. Um, um, let me know if it's anything else you want to see, guys. I have Makeup Mondays, Talk Tuesdays, um, Weigh In Wednesdays, which I'll start soon. And then I'm going to have um, Storytime Saturdays. So those are the four things that I know I have coming. Oh, and Trendy Thursdays. So I don't know how much I can keep up with all of those. And I don't know how many I'm going to post. But I know those are the ideas that I have as far as that. I do want to do a story time take that time with my husband. Cause clearly, I mean, according to everybody else, I stole my husband from my best friend. So we'll just have to get into that one day, y'all. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna get off of here and go eat because it's time. Um, yeah, I'm hungry. Okay. For me, I'm a boss lady. Driving the boys crazy.